Your forecast first for tonight. Rain developing overnight, steady rains, not the showers and thunderstorms that we've seen this afternoon and this evening. 42 degrees for an overnight low. That rain will continue for a good portion of the day tomorrow, uh, especially in the higher terrain of northeast Washington and north Idaho. High temperature tomorrow of 52 degrees. Today's high was 55. Now 60 is our average high. We do not have any 60s in our seven day forecast. We've had almost a tenth of an inch of rain out at the airport where right now it's mostly cloudy and 54. Bit breezy. Southwest winds at 19. That will not be the case for long. Winds will die down just a little bit tonight and tomorrow. Then they pick up again tomorrow. The second half of the day wind gusts in the 30 mile per hour range. Cloudy and 49 right now in Coeur d'Alene. Here's a look at our Doppler radar and we see the showers and thunderstorms moving almost directly east now from the northeast mountains into north Idaho. Some of the heavier weather right north of the Deer Park area where we're seeing some brief heavy downpours, some small hail, occasional rumbles of thunder. Once these showers and thunderstorms move off to the east and will also taper off here in the next couple of hours, we will be dry temporarily, but we have the next round of wet weather approaching from the southwest. Here's a look at our satellite and radar. This is going to bring the steady rains overnight and we have more wet weather coming. We are stuck in a bit of a weather rut in that the polar jet stream has been to our south, keeping us on the cool side of things and the unsettled side of things. Here we go over 24 hours. This system approaches. Tomorrow or tomorrow afternoon, we start to dry out a little bit, but we keep the showers going. We're going to keep things cool with the main storm track to our south. Overnight lows tonight. Now that is the exception. Uh, we talk about cool weather. Our overnight lows have actually been right about average and at times a little above because of the clouds. We'll be in the 40s for overnight lows tonight. Our high temperatures tomorrow, however, a lot of 40s and 50s on the map, only making it up into the 60s in Moses Lake and perhaps OMAC at 59. Your seven day forecast includes more showers on Thursday and Friday. Wouldn't rule out a little bit of snow working its way down into some of the northern valleys in the early mornings. Snow level dropping down as low as 3,000 feet. Mm. Uh, as we get into Thursday night and Friday. Now you'll notice there is one dry day in that seven day <laughs> forecast and you have to like the timing, uh, the possibility yeah. of some dry weather on Saturday uh, certainly appeals. Otherwise we are in for more cool and unsettled weather for the next seven days. Well, we'll uh, take advantage of Saturday. Yeah. If it pans out that That'll way, it sure would be nice, <laughs> yes. gosh. Uh, we are looking now at the water year about to break oh. a record. Well, actually, we did break a record for October yeah. through April. The subject of tonight's forecast focus on an article about Seattle breaking their record from October 1st through April, even though we still have a few days left, five days left of April and a lot more rain to happen. We've already broken the record for that time period. October 1st is significant because that is the beginning of the water year. That is uh, when we consider the wet season to be starting to get underway from October 2016 through today at this precise moment we have had over 21 inches of precipitation at Spokane International Airport five days to go to get to April 30th but we've already broken the record for the October through April uh, time frame which was 1944 uh, and we are well above average. Our average for this time period, uh, a little over 11 and a half inches. So we have not quite doubled, but uh, still well overshot uh, our precipitation for uh, the that time period. And certainly our record has been broken and we are going to continue to build on this record for the next 24 hours and right on through the end of the month with the potential of only one dry day in the seven day forecast. On our Doppler radar right now, we do still find some showers 
moving to the east through north Idaho out of eastern Washington will be drying out soon Deer Park drying out soon Kettle Falls and Colville and then we will stay dry for a short amount of time before the next system comes in this is going to bring less of the showery precipitation we've seen over the past 24 hours and more of the steady rains that cause even more problems with landslides mudslides something we have seen more than our fair share of so far this season. Mostly cloudy and 54 degrees right now in Spokane. Currently in Coeur d'Alene, it is cloudy and 48 degrees. Satellite and radar shows the main storm track is to our south. We are on the cool side of the jet, and boy, that has been the case now for weeks, it seems like, uh, with only occasional breaks. We are gonna bring in that next round of rain tomorrow, and then behind it, Unsettled conditions will continue right on through Friday with a little bit of ridging building in for the weekend. Nationally, some severe weather tonight in the usual locations right through the central plains. High temperatures, here's our big dip in the jet stream, 40s and 50s, and here is the ridge. Temperatures in the 70s, 80s, and even 90 degrees in San Antonio today, and no real change in this weather pattern in the forecast. We will stay below below average for the next seven days. One dry day, it would appear right now, Saturday, 56 and partly cloudy. High temperatures below average. Overnight lows above freezing, thanks to the clouds and all the moisture yeah. that we have had. Means uh, very little stargazing, uh, but boy, just keeping that weather record going. Don't have to worry about the snowpack or oh, water no. this summer. No, so. we are in good shape there. That's for sure. All right, thanks <laughs> a lot, Chris. Well, does emotional eating start with food 